Hello and welcome, Dirty William here, back with another episode of Simplify, the modded Minecraft pack by a Maxter. Or is it? I saw something today where Ender something, I guess, maybe had taken over. I'm not really sure. So I'll just say it's by a Maxter anyway. So I made the sugarcane farm because I need paper. Because today we are going to be doing some research and everything that I scanned with the Thelmonomicon, uh, or th not Thelmonomicon, the Thelmamama thing, this thing, I'll show you. I will show you. Come with me. This thing, Thelmometer. It said that I needed to research this and that and the other, so I was like, okay, well, what do I need to do? Well, as it turns out, let me grab my book. It turns out I actually need to do research research. And in here, if we scan around, uh, I believe here, this will tell you how to do the research. And what you do is make the workbench, make all the, uh, the tools that you need for that, and then this will tell you where these things go. So I would need scribing tools that will go up here at the top. And let's see. Number three, this will be the, the different aspects that I've already seen. Uh, let's see, paper is going to go... So I need paper on me. That's why I made it a lot, a lot of paper. And then I can start doing research. So this is probably going to be a process, but I wanted to get some of it on camera. But first, let me show you what I did over here. I'm just clearing out this area to make it similar to this area here. Um, this I'm going to use for a uh, storage area. A very kind gentleman by the name of AC the Coolest said, and I'm paraphrasing here because I don't have the quote and his message, his reply to my video, he said, you need to start making some other things, this storage stuff. So yeah, who knew? So I made this, and this is like a huge bunch of storage here in a very small, compact area. And there are other things you can make as well. Uh, let's see, let me go into this uh, modular storage. So, let's see, there is the base here. So I made one of those, obviously. And then the expansion, so that there's extra space. Or maybe I made this one. Maybe it was that one. I can't, yeah, it was this one here that I made. But there are other things, too. Uh, hopper. Armor expansion, smashing expansion, uh, storage sorting expansion, and crafting expansion. I don't know what any of these things do. Modular or processing core. Huh. Yeah, I have not gotten into any of this stuff. So it's going to be interesting to see all the things in here. So with that out of the way... Oh, one more thing. I made these boots these traveler's boots. Uh, this allows me to, instead of jumping on top of things, I can actually just run and I will clear a one block height. So rather than having to jump all over the place, I can do that. So let's see. Let's open our book. I go to the research page here and get a brief overview of what we're supposed to do. So we've done that part, basically. So um, we should have a bunch of this stuff over in the research table. Now we start combining the aspects, and uh, the selected aspects will appear in area number four, which should be down here. Um, when you have two selected, pressing the purple button will attempt to combine them. If successful, you should see what was gained in the bottom right, and it should appear in area number three. So let's see, the component aspects are consumed. If you open your thumb, oh, telephone. If you open your thumb and you will see all the knowledge have you have, I guess, and also the knowledge that you are now able to pursue. Flashing square around icons represent primary researches. Uh, let's see, section five, display sheet. So let's just run through this. Now, uh, it shows here, say I don't have this, because I don't have the scribing tools and paper on me. Uh, where was I at? There was something that I saw that was interesting. Not sure. Maybe it was Maybe it was this, but I need to have the, the stuff on me to do it. These other tabs here are things where I can s start doing this stuff too. So let's grab all the things that we need. So let's just grab, uh, 
paper and the scribing tools. Now I have extra ink here as well, so this can be refilled. So let's see what we can do here. Okay, research note added to your inventory for wand foci. When iron caps, you just won't cut it. Copper caps. So I got that, and gold caps. So let's see. Great wood wand core, so we researched for that. And I've not seen any uh, great wood trees, I don't believe, so far. So let's do this one too. Get the research notes that we can. Advanced node tapping. Okay, so we've got some research notes. So let's go over to here and see what we can do. No, not that, this thing, the table. And I think we need to put paper up here. No, this is where the research notes go. Right, okay, so what do we want to do first? One foci? I think this would be neat first because you can actually excavate and things with this. Uh, so we've got that and it goes over to here. So we need to figure out how we get from the fire to this thing over here. I don't even know what the fire, yeah, Ignis, okay. So each one has its own little name. I'm not sure why these are glowing. So we have air, Perdito, which is chaos, aqua, which is water, potentia, which is energy, ignis, which is fire, tear, which is earth, lux, which is light, that I got from, I think, scanning a torch, and then we have ordo, which is order. So the or ordo and Perdito are kind of oppositional elements. Um, the uh, terra and air are obviously diametrically opposed, and then fire, water. And the other things here, though, the potentia and the lux, I think, are maybe things that are combined? I'm not sure. So we need to figure out, <clears throat> excuse me, what we can do with our wand foci here. So let's look at our book and see what it says about wand foci. Oh, I already have this research. Note. I don't want to do that. There we go. Uh, let's see, research. Here we go slip on through. Now this is where we need to yeah, make the little path over. <coughs> Excuse me, I had to cough there. Uh, if you can read their title instead of seeing strange runes, you are simply able to click on them. Paper and ink will be consumed for your inventory. So yeah, I've, I've done that. Section 5 will now display a sheet of paper covered in hexagonal tiles with aspect icons around the outer edge. If you see question mark icons, it means that you don't know that aspect yet and you will need to learn it first. To complete your research, you simply need to connect and activate all aspects. You do this by dragging an aspect to a hex adjacent to it that is either composed of the target aspect or can be combined with another aspect to form the target aspect. Placing an aspect consumes one research point. If you make a mistake, you can click on the aspect to remove it, but you will not regain the research point. Continue doing this until you have formed a pattern connecting all the starting aspects. The outer aspects need to be need not be connected to all others. They simply need to form a connected whole. Once this is done, the research will complete, and the research note will turn into a discovery. Um, let's see. Hexagonal icons indicate secondary research. Da, 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 da. Telephone. So... Since we have some stuff in here already, I wonder if, if we start this, let's see, maybe Terra? That's a purple thing. I don't know what it did, though. Does this combine to anything? It's not really doing anything. So, let's see, how about Perdito? Oh, okay. Jellum. I've discovered Jellum. And where is that? Here. Ice, frost, and cold. Okay. So let's get rid of that. And let's do air and earth. No, it doesn't do anything. Oh, what is this? Vacuous. Oh, that's the empty stuff. Okay. That's when it was saying I needed to research empty things. So, okay, we got that. Let's try ordo. Permutatio. Where is that? This one. Exchange or barter. Okay, that's what they were talking about in the book with the... Uh, what are they called? Petch? Peck? Oh, that's the wrong thing. No, not research. Where was it? Was it just in this? Mm, nope. There was something about... the Great Wood logs. I'm sure it was in one of these two here. Ooh, what's this? Aspects of the building blocks of magic. Yeah, we pretty much already have uh, those things. Oh, okay. So 
Jellum we got, uh, Vacuous we got, Potentia we got, Lux, and we have that one. So this is just describing the things that we have found already, I guess. I'm assuming that's what it means.